how do I own a piece of this yeah. canyon? I want to. Own and it's it. a really cool way. Like I said, it's you're out in the middle of nowhere, but at the same time, you're you're not. Thirty like, minutes. You're thirty, you're 30 from minutes down. from Amarillo in Texas is kind of the last place, especially up here, that you'd expect to find this like perfect paradise getaway when it comes to the outdoors. And he's adding in all the all these RV spots so you can bring out your camper and and camp here with here's like, the Maris Adventure Park. Yeah, which is Maris- your closest airport is Amarillo. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, uh, and thirty so minutes. That's from sort of the landmark. Yeah. Um, one of the things that Lane, who longtime Maglite uh, employee, worked there, did social media and stuff and, mm-hmm. and e marketing. He was the He's the guy who I know anything about overlanding and off-roading from. Yeah. One of the things that, that he really likes that Maglite produces are the Spectrum Series lights. Now, <laughs> called the Spectrum Series because they're not all white. There's okay. red, green, blue, soft white are, are the main ones. And they all have different uses. But he loves the red ones to use on his rig. And he gave multiple reasons. Says, Number one, it doesn't attract bugs. Yeah, yeah. which is a big deal. <laughs> so when you're using white light outdoors in the warmer months of the year and you're in the middle of nowhere you're swarmed worse you're swarmed you're swarmed with bugs yeah right yeah. uh and he said the other thing is in overlanding for him it gives him a sense of security to use the lower level light mm-hmm. because he's got a multi hundred thousand dollar rig oh so and he, he was doesn't into really want to advertise that he's out there. That yeah. he's out there in the middle of nowhere by himself in this, you know, very expensive piece of equipment. And the other one, he said, it doesn't bother his night vision. He can look at a map yeah. in his rig at night, mm-hmm. and it doesn't make it so that he can't see. When yeah. you're done, yeah. Doesn't you turn it off and, and right, go outside. Yeah, that's really nice. No, that's definitely, uh, that's definitely needed. Like, that's 100%. If you ever go off into the mountains during the summer... I mean, you are swarmed bug. Last thing you want to do is be walking. So we'll tell everybody get the Spectrum series lights or mag light. Yes. And, yes. and you won't need as much off. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, <laughs> bug repellent or whatever. Yeah. Not to use a brand we've, name by we, mistake, but we, there you go. We've done that where we've actually parked the vehicle away with the lights on to attract so the bugs go that way. We while we set up else. camp over <laughs> here, and then like you can use the bow or if you need to use the bathroom. So yeah, you kind of like I've done that. I've gone out and put out a white light somewhere to try to attract bugs away from us. <laughs> All right, Kevin and Brittany, so this event here is the inaugural one that you're doing with the Maris Adventure Park. And the whole idea here is to create this challenge trail, your brand, Light Bright Challenge Trail, that you're saying is going to be really, really hard. Right. So the, the point is to have a destination to come here and try this challenge trail. Now, we have our own trail, the Light Bright Trail, but that's only one trail in the series of trails. Most of these are going to be what she was saying were double black. So think of like a, a ski double ski black diamond. Double diamond, double diamond right. yeah. yeah, ski. So they're going to be your so really be, Which I would look down and go, uh... Right. Yeah. That, you, you're going to yeah. see this and go, no. <laughs> so. this, our challenge trail, uh, the, the system of trails, it's essentially going to be set up for the more hardcore extreme off-roaders, which there are not a lot of trails or challenges for the more extreme side of things. Uh, and that's kind of what we wanted to do. And again, it's a destination too. Like the Polidoro Canyon out here is absolutely beautiful. Well, and it should take you multiple days. This yeah. isn't something you're going to come out in the morning and start at, at sunrise and finish at sunset. No. You're going to go out with your friends and then you're going to need to plan out, okay, the sun's going down. Are we going to night wheel and keep doing this at night? Or do we go back camp and then hit this again in the morning and continue on? Which is kind of cool because most places, if you go out to, to trails... Um, like the Rubicon and stuff like that that are multi-day, you go through and then you camp and then you continue going. Here, at least, you can kind of come out, get cell phone service, reprieve, gather for the night, hang out with your friends, and then head back in Hit it back the you next know, morning. to the yep. trail, which is really neat. Um, I there I don't know of anything like this anywhere else. Um, I certainly so, don't. Because yeah. it's the first time I've ever been yeah. exposed to anything quite like this. Yeah. So, no, it's exciting. And look, um, I, I hope we can do more uh, w- with your brand through E3 and so forth, uh, obviously... I think there's this, a lot of opportunity, because yeah. yeah. we do a lot. <laughs> I think lot. there'll be a lot of opportunity. And I really appreciate you sitting down doing a series of podcasts uh, here on the Maglite Podcast. And yeah, it's for sure. been great to meet you and yeah. uh, getting introduced to a whole new world. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome, man.